I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand what is the derivative of power of a function rule, right? So that is what we are going to explore. There are two different notations with which we are working. One of them is f of x equals to g of x. Let's say we have a power rule here. So there is another function of x to the power of n, right? We need to find the derivative of this function. So the rule is that derivative of this function is n times g of x to the power of n minus 1 times the derivative of inside function times the derivative of inside function. So that is the power rule, right? This could also be written in another notation. So let us say we have the function uh, f of x equals to g of x to the power of n then d dx so d dx of f of x is equal to n times derivative of this function which is g of x to the power of n minus 1 times d dx of g of x right so that's another notation in which you can write the same thing so that is the power rule which we are going to discuss in this particular video right so let us take up two examples one of them could be f of x equals to let us say x cube minus 2x square plus 1 to the power of let us say 5 right so we have a function here whose exponent is 5 so derivative of this function f dash x will be 5 times the function which is 5 times x cube minus 2x square plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 which is 4 times derivative of inside function what I mean is d dx of inside function which is x cube minus 2x square plus 1 so what we get here is 5 times x cube minus 2x square plus 1 to the power of 4 times derivative of this which is 3x square minus 4x. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can find derivative of power of a function, right, using this particular rule, correct? So that is how you need to do. So I can give you one practice question for you, which is h of x is equals to, let us say, square root of x minus 1 plus 3 to the power of 4, right? So you can find the derivative of this. So find h dash x using this rule. Okay, so that is the question which we just did. Let's do one more question based on the same technique. So this time what I will do is I'll take up a function which is, uh, let us say f of x is equals to, kind of similar to that. So we'll take square root of x square minus 2x okay so let us take to the third root okay of this function so let us say this is our function we need to find derivative of this function right so you could also think as if we have two functions combined together inside function is x square minus 2x and the outside function is cube root of that so that helps to understand the concept okay so derivative of this function could be given as this is uh, uh, third root right so before that let me rewrite this function as uh, x square minus 2x to the power of 1 over 3 so that we can apply the power rule easily right so f dash x will be one third of all this I mean one third of x square minus 2x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 so minus 1 will give us minus 2 over 3 times derivative of this function so what is the derivative of this function derivative of inside function is 2x minus 2 so that is how you could write this so writing this in the denominator we could also write 2x minus 2 in the numerator and 3 and that is cube root of x square minus 2x whole square so let me write this as whole square right so that is another way of writing uh, your solution right so so this is the solution of the given function so when we use power of a function rule 
then what we do here is we apply the power rule first, right? n times the function itself to the power of n minus 1 times the derivative of inside function, right? So here n was 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 times the function to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, which is minus 2 over 3, times derivative of this function, right? So what we wrote here is derivative of x squared minus 2x, 2x minus 2, right? Then you multiply, simplify, and write down your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.